In this lesson, we learned this cool connection between parallel and perpendicular lines. So let's first talk about parallel lines. Now, you know in a picture, parallel lines never touch. We talked about those when we were talking about our different angles. So here are two examples of parallel lines. And one thing that you should look at and recognize in their equations is that they have the same slope. All horizontal lines, as I told you once before, have a slope of zero. All vertical lines have undefined slopes. So let's uh, skip down for a second and let's look at example one where we have to identify parallel lines. So they're asking us out of these three lines, which kind of all look parallel, which lines are actually parallel? So the way that we do that is we just find the slope of each of the lines. So since it's graphed, we can just count boxes. The slope of the blue line is up 4, right 1. So that's going to be a slope of 4 over 1. This red line is up oh, 5, right 1. So this has a slope of 5 over 1. So very close, but not exact. And the green line has a slope of 4 over 1. So now I know it's not colored on your worksheet, but we can say the blue and green lines, or if you want to say the first and the third, because you don't have colored, so you'd say the first and the third lines are parallel, because parallel lines have the same slope. Okay, let's go up back up to the second um, instructional piece, which is now about perpendicular lines. Now, you know perpendicular lines form a right angle. You can see right here. But there is a super cool concept about perpendicular lines. Well, super cool for math lovers. Um, the concept is that perpendicular lines have this thing called negative reciprocal slopes. And then you say, what the heck is a negative reciprocal slope? And so if you look at the picture, you will see an example of negative reciprocal slopes. Negative 2 over 1 is negative reciprocals with 1 half. So negative doesn't really mean negative. It means change the sign. So negative turn to positive. Um, and then reciprocal, as you should know from earlier math courses, is when you flip the fraction. So 2 over 1 would flip to 1 half. So it changes its sign and flips, and that's a negative reciprocal. So let's just come up with an, um, one or two more. So let's say 3 halves. The negative reciprocal of that would be negative 2 thirds. It's the flip and the opposite sign. Let's do one more. Let's do um, one negative one fifth. The negative reciprocal of that would be positive five over one. You flip the fraction and change the sign. So let's uh, check out the example. Which two lines are perpendicular? And we have to find the um, slopes in order to get that answer. So obviously the blue and the red lines are not negative reciprocals because they're probably kind of maybe parallel even. I don't know. Um, but they're, the green line is perpendicular to one of them. So let's find the slopes. The blue line has a slope of negative 2 over 6. The red line has a slope of negative 2 over 7. And the green line has a slope of 7 over 2. So you can see these two right here are the negative reciprocals. It was flipped and it changed signs. So I'll say the green and red lines. You can number the lines or describe them however you want, um, but I'm going to write green and red lines are perpendicular. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? 
it said that you also have to explain how you know. So I put these um, fractions around, but let me add to my definition. So I'm going to go back and to example one, where it says blue and green lines are parallel, and I'll add because they have the same slope. And let's change example two to say green and red lines are perpendicular because their slopes are negative reciprocals. If you have any questions, write them down and ask me when you come to class.